How's it going on this glorious Thursday, December 28th? My last video of the year because I take Friday and the weekend off. And I'm probably going to take Monday off too. There may be a video. There might be a video, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But there is also good possibility it's not. But I just want to have a heart to heart. We're going to say goodbye to 2023. It has its ups and downs. It's been a very interesting year. Set the stage for 2024. Hopefully a lot of uh, legal questions get answered. That's what I'm looking forward. I'm, I'm looking forward to a couple of court cases that hopefully will answer certain questions that we have. I think 2024 is going to be extremely interesting. It's going to have a lot of good. It's going to have a lot of bad and somewhere in between. It's also an election year, so that's going to, that's going to make it real interesting. Um, we're going to find out who the GOP primary or candidate's going to be in the next couple of months. We're going to find out who they replace Biden with, assuming that he gets elected or that they choose him. I should say, um, they may switch him out. But we don't know. We won't know. These are answers that will be, or questions that will be answered in the coming months. But it's going to be an interesting year. I mean, I had a good year on YouTube, Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey. Even though I primarily focus on Rumble and YouTube. Mainly because those are the only sites that I kind of like, to be truthfully honest with you. But I do have them. I do have them um, linked to other sites like Facebook, but... I don't really use Facebook either. But but that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. And I have no clue what I'm going to do next year when it comes to my content. I do know that I've been kind of burnt out on politics for a while. But I don't know what else to talk about. Because that's how interesting my life is. I do kind of want to Maybe have some more videos about my property. But those take some time to, to get together because I make the way I do it. I don't know if anybody else does this this way, but I take short, short clips with my phone. And then I download the, those clips to my computer and I combine them using a, a program. And that, and that does kind of take some time. Sometimes when I uh, compile a video, the um, the aspects gets changed and there's a letterhead, which I don't really like that much. But you know, those are those are my issues. That's how I um, I used to have a filter that would that would get rid of that. But that was a couple installations ago. I know I'm just rambling, but you know, I'm just want to have a heart to heart talk. My plan for the for the New Year's, for the actual holiday is, who knows? I might go out to my property that, that Monday, but there's a good chance I'm just going to stay home. Might head over to my mom's, have a nice meal with her and her husband, which is my stepfather. And just have a lovely, lovely time, take it easy and go to bed early. Actually, I think that would be actually Sunday. Maybe even Sunday, too. I'm also uh, knitting a uh, a blanket, which I haven't really shown because um, it's nothing special. It's, it's going to be a gray blanket with a, like a tin, like a glitter tin that's woven within the, in the fabric. It has a nice glow to it, like a little metallic flash to it. But that's more of a, a utility. What, 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 are your, what are your guys' plans? What are you going to be doing? Leave a comment down below to tell me uh, what what that is. I'll be definitely interested. And um, like I said, I'm just rambling. Just because I want to ramble and 
you can even probably click off now or you probably already clicked off which is perfectly fine i would because who wants to hear someone ramble i certainly don't so i completely understand that but i will say next year is going to be interesting i think next year is going to be spicy and i'm not even going to say it's going to be spicy in a good or bad way i think it's going to be spicy in both ways i think i think there's going to be something that's going to happen next year that's going to that's going to probably change the dynamics of this country i don't know what that is but i do think i do think the younger generation are are seeing that both parties are are garbage i think the votes are going to reflect that and this may be actually the last election that one of the parties has power. I can't say that for certain. I mean, both parties have a way to stay in power, but I have a feeling that the, uh, the American people are tired of both parties. I think they're tired of electing the same person over and over and nothing gets done. They're tired of electing a certain party and nothing gets done. And we may see this on a local scale. It'd be interesting to see it on a local scale and see if that mirrors the federal scale and the state scale. But I do think the parties are taking a big hit right now, both of them. I really don't care for neither of them. Like I said, I'm an independent. Don't get me wrong, I'm an independent. But if you listen to a lot of the GOP members that are, are elected, and look at their viewpoints. A lot of my viewpoints mirrored with them. A good amount of them mirrored with them. The issue with the Democrats is uh, they say a lot of good things. Don't get me wrong. They say a lot of good things. But they do the exact opposite. Now I do know that the GOP also suffers from that. But the issue with the Democrats is that they, um, they don't just do the exact opposite. They actually want to... They want to show us that they're in control. And when they show us when they're in control, they tend to lock down their state or their city. We've, we've seen that in the past. They don't want to give up the, the authoritarian policies that they, they enacted. We saw that. We saw that within the last four years. It's only two years ago when it technically finally ended. You all know what I'm hinting at. You're all intelligent people. But yeah, I think next year is going to be interesting. I think we're going to... I think we're going to see a record level of engagement when it comes to votes. When I say engagement, I think we're going to see a, a more of the population getting involved in, in the voting process. And I don't know what that looks like. I don't know if that means that there's less votes for a particular party and a new party rises up to take its place. That would be refreshing. Don't get me wrong, it would be, be refreshing to see another party take the realm and, or just become more dominant within politics. Because I would love for a libertarian there is um, to, to take in charge. Not that they, they would be any better, but They'll definitely make things spicy. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about the spicy sometimes, especially when the spiciness leads to positive change. But I think I rambled on. And hopefully you all have a great New Year's. And hopefully your New Year's brings you great joy and riches beyond your desire. That being said, that is my video for today and the last video of the year and have yourself a wonderful day morning or evening